let's import this to Godot. So what we need is one file with the armature or skeleton that goes with a dummy mesh that we are going to hide later on runtime. And these are the settings where I have these quick favorites for sporting GLTF. So I have this main skeleton presets that needs to be in GLTF. This is important because if not, you are going to have problems with the animations and, and the order of stuff. Well, a lot of testing there <laughs> until I got it to work. So GLTF, selected objects. Uh, you don't need nothing in the meshes because it's extra info that you don't need. Nothing objects, but you need animations, uh, sample it if you want, and some skinning because it's needed to, to attach the dummy mesh. And um, yeah, you export it in this file and should look in this way. What do we have? The main rig, skeleton, the dummy, and this other special that I don't know where does it come from, <laughs> but it's working. You already have this animation working here, so it's ready to go. For the geometry, we are going to use GLTF as well, but with a different extension like GLB. And we are going to use the same preset for every single mesh that goes with the mesh, with the with the character, either hair or beard or whatever part. And these are the settings. Escape prop is GLB, and these are take a look. And yeah, what we are going to have, I have this folder with all the parts, beard, hair, and torso, for example. We open it, we only have this. It already has a reference that it has a skeleton, and we are going to take this in code, we are going to take this mesh, we are going to duplicate it and include that in the main skeleton and get rid of this scene. I will show you right now how it's working.